Yeah, we got a train coming. I did not hear this one coming until just a few seconds ago. to walk down to the next uh, railroad down the road and this one just came around the corner caught me by surprise new looking tankers right here. Fresh paint, almost. <laughs> See how these people are covering up the numbers. Not cool. They spray paint over the identification numbers and I don't see it too often, but uh, it happens now and then. Gotta keep those numbers visible. That, that TFOX there, right there, those numbers, those always have to be visible. Just saw a tanker or a granier here with a spray paint over them. moon up there too. Pretty awesome. I don't think I ever got a shot like this with a full moon.
that wheel was squealing. Comes the end of her. The good riding ones right there, riding grinders. And there they go. Yeah, I was just heading down to the other row across the right over there when this train just came around this uh, building right over here and back there. It curves around, goes over towards uh, downtown. Yeah, that thing was coming this way and I... Uh, Heard one on that track down there, heard a train, but that one's kind of uh, um, unpredictable because there's so many different lines down this way. So there could be trains going in any direction on that second track down there. And this one's usually the same one. This is the siding track anyway. It's just like... Yes, I'm sorry about the extremely loud squealing wheels on that train. Between the building and and there goes the thing again, right up there. Lights going off again. But they always do that. I don't think there's another train coming. But uh, those lights always go off after a train passes a couple times. But I think I'm gonna stop here at the store, get something to drink. I'm a little thirsty here. I need some caffeine. I don't know if I want a coffee or a soda. But, uh, I'll see you as soon as I get in there. And uh, right here at the little show depot, I think it's called. Prime time. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, go in there and get something to drink real quick. Possibly there's another train. No, I can already tell you, no, there's no train coming. The arms went down up here on the crossing and went right back up, you know. But hey, I hope everyone had a great holiday. Merry Christmas, happy holiday, weather suits you, and happy new year. Everything's going good on my end. And, uh, you know, got a little bit quiet in the neighborhood. And, uh, and hopefully, you know, you know, New Year's Eve coming around, there's no gunshots everywhere, which there usually is in this part of town. And uh, even though it's illegal, People are still shooting fireworks in there I mean, and guns, fireworks and bullets. I mean, shooting bullets in there isn't too smart because they eventually have to come back down and that can be a ride on top of somebody or something, you know. You know, so just, you know, just do some black cat fireworks. Hey, that's fine. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, so the biggest celebration 2024 coming up, you know, and hopefully some more trains coming through here. And hopefully I'll get a transceiver so I can tell when the trains are coming through and uh, get to them a little bit quicker around here when they're still a few miles away. Uh, and my voice, I quit smoking also, by the way. I recently quit smoking like about three weeks ago. I'm feeling great. Still getting winded a little bit, but I've been smoking for 30 years. So I know there's like some damage done, but... Uh, yeah, just recently I, I gave it up cold turkey and I feel fine. The cravings aren't that bad. Anyone can do it cold turkey, smoking. And uh, just catching my breath again. Probably don't want to look, gain too much weight either because that's the next step after smoking and you're going to start eating a lot. And uh, I'm trying to avoid that. But, you know, I, I believe anyone can really put their mind to it and manage themselves and get off any addictions. I'm talking about any addiction. I know people on drugs. Uh, I still know people on drugs, and uh, I kind of hate to say I've given up hope. But uh, 
you know some but some people really try hard and you know that that's really honorable you know and hopefully i can go a long time without smoking cigarettes you know i don't need it i don't i'm not going to start vaping either or chewing tobacco or anything you know i got lifesaver candies you know uh those help me out a lot too and uh but i really don't even need the lifesavers that much Except, you know unless you're at work and you need it a little bit sometimes it gets stressful working but uh i i, I really believe people put their mind to something overcome anything addictions uh, i mean you're not gonna if you're an addict you're always going to be an addict um you're just not going to be uh you know using anything to fuel the addiction and uh but you know some people claim you know i'm not an addict no more and i'm sorry but you are you know that's the way i see it but like i said just anyone trying to give up drinking drugs cigarettes just keep strong man you know people can do it you know and uh, I'm, I'm trying to decide what i'm gonna do here now i'm thinking about going to the store or walking up here waiting for another train <sighs> and it's always tempting to jump on one <laughs> take a ride somewhere but anyway Matt, there goes the bells again i think those arms are just going up and down for fun now yeah they were just going up and down for fun there uh, it's kind of cool out tonight too and i got my light off right now the ring light because I don't want to blind anyone driving towards me because this ring light's pretty bright. Uh, no. But it's pretty cool tonight. Actually feels like Christmas a bit. I've been in colder. I don't even know why I'm wearing a hoodie and a hat though. It is, you know, I could do without it. I'm going to check one more time here, see what's going on. Yeah. And I really would like to get a chance receiver in the near future get the codes programmed into for the train signals the train codes and uh let's get more videos done now and then i can see the train still sitting down there hey i think that's the train that i just video passed then i see the blinking red light I don't know if you see that blinking light right way down there, but he could be sitting there waiting for us to be sighted. But anyway, I'm gonna flip the camera off for a bit. Yep, and that derailer is still here. Like I said before, the derailer does exactly what it's called. It'll derail a boxcar or tanker or grainer if it gets away from this yard right here. So, they rather derail one of their own boxcars or whatever than let it roll down this line. I know it's really dark right over here, but, but the problem is, if they have to derail one, it's going to end up right back here behind Super Happy Funland, and they're going to have a big mess right here. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think I'm going to call it quits for the night, go in, get some rest. Got work coming up. So, anyway, I just I caught one train. They got a good spot now for it. And uh, hopefully there's more in different areas of town. And uh, trying to get some out of town soon. I'll be traveling some. And uh, see what I can get out there, out of Houston. But anyway, I will talk to you all later. And have a great holiday. Happy New Year. Party responsibly and be safe and stay awesome. Till next time, I bring you more random chaos. I'll bring you more random chaos.